happy Valentine's Day from the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today I'm going to be going over a holiday related problem that I came up with uh, to help us kind of get in the math mood for Valentine's Day. So this problem that I came up with deals with heating and cooling, or in this case, cooling. Um, so the problem, the problem is set up such that um, her name is Valentine. She walks outside. Uh, she hears the doorbell early in the morning on February 14th. She walks downstairs and she finds a plate of, <laughs> as you can see here, freshly baked oatmeal cookies, oatmeal raisin cookies, her favorite, sitting on her porch outside. And she wants to determine which of her three potential friends are her, might be her suitor. Um, because there's a note on the cookies that say, from your secret admirer. And she wants to figure out which one of them it is. So she takes some measurements, being the mathematician that she is. She wants to kind of figure out what's going on. So she, she, she takes some measurements of the temperature of the cookies, and then she leaves them sit outside for an hour, which I don't know why you'd do that, because I would just eat them all right away. But whatever, she lets them sit outside for an hour, and then she measures the temperature again. So here's what she finds when she measures them. We're going to find the time when she discovers the cookies, because she walks out right after they were set outside. We're going to call that time at t equals 0. So that time, which is big T, at little t equals 0, she measures it to be 250 degrees degrees Fahrenheit. So then she leaves them sit out for 60 minutes. And after 60 minutes, she finds that the temperature of the cookies is now 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And she also measures that the temperature outside, which we'll say is just remaining constant, is a nice balmy 72 degrees. She's in some kind of nice not um, East Coast location. So the temperature outside is 72 degrees, so I'm calling that A as an ambient temperature. Um, and so then she assumes that, because this is her favorite recipe, she knows that the cookies are baked at 350 degrees, so she's assuming they come out of the oven about 300 degrees. So I'm going to call that T, big T of little t, sub heart here, um, for the time that the cookies were baked with love. <laughs> um, so we're going to assume that that was about 300 degrees. And so knowing, knowing these three guys, they kind of like to get business done, right? So she assumes that right after they bake the cookies, they pretty much bring them over right away after they're out of the oven. So that's just what she assumes. So what she's going to use is some handy-dandy equation from differential equations to kind of get an approximation of when the cookies left the person's house. Because she knows that, you know, these, that th this guy, his name is um, Albert, he lives 15, about a 15-minute walk away. This is Benoit, he lives about a 40 minute walk away, and Gottfried lives about a 25 minute walk away. So she knows approximately how much time it takes to get to each, to each of her potential suitors' houses. So she wants to try to figure out which one of them left it here by trying to solve for T sub heart, or the time that the cookies left the house. So what she's going to use is going to be Newton's law of cooling, which is given as follows in the form of a first order differential equation. So d, d, dt dt oh, with big T on the top is equal to negative k times big T minus a. So k here is going to be the constant of cooling and a is going to be the ambient temperature we, which we have already which she already measured as being 72 degrees. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to solve this uh, as a separable differential equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by t minus a and then I'm going to multiply by dt. So we're kind of performing some uh, operations on the um, differential operators here, which is kind of what we're going to be able to do in order to get uh, this into uh, a system of, or just one equation with two integrals in it here. So we're going to get the integral of dt over t minus a times the integral of negative k times little dt. So now we're, we will just integrate both sides of this with respect to the variables of integration here. So um, the integral of with, this is really 1 over big T minus A and it, with respect to T is going to be ln of the absolute value of T minus A. And then um, you would normally have a plus C here, but for brevity, um, I'm going to just mix both constants over here because you would really get one constant here, one constant here, but I'll just bring them both over to one side. Uh, so you can get this equals to, so negative k, the integral of negative k with respect to t, little t, is going to be negative kt, and then we'll add the constant of integration on here. Okay, so now we need to solve for two variables here first before we can solve for t sub heart. 
So we need to solve for first the constant of integration C, and secondly, we need to solve for K. So in order to solve for C, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our initial conditions, which is going to be right here. So T uh, of zero, the time she discovers the cookies, is 250 degrees. So I'm going to plug that in. So we have ln, and big T here is going to be 250 minus A, and A, as she measured, is 72, 72 degrees. And that is going to be equal to negative K times T, so negative K, and little t is zero plus c. This is c. Okay, so negative k times zero is going to go to zero, because anything times zero is zero. And then we get over here ln of 250 minus 72. So we have ln of 250 minus 72, which is going to be 178. So we end up getting c equals ln of 178. And as you can see, I just removed the absolute value bars because 178 is greater than 0. OK. So now we have solved for c. So what we need to do now is we need to solve for k. So we've already used this. So now we're going to use um, the time that she measures them an hour later at. So at time t equals 60, so an hour later, we're measuring minutes. Um, it's 100 degrees. So here we have ln of, actually, I'll erase this down here first, now that we've solved for C. Okay, great, so now I just left C up there, as you can see. Okay, so now we have ln of the absolute value of, remember from before we had T minus A, so T is equal to 100 minus A, which is 72, And that is going to be equal to negative k times little t, which is 60, plus c, which is ln of 178. Okay, so now we have ln of absolute value of 100 minus 72. So it's going to be ln of 28. And again, we can remove the absolute value bars because um, 28 is greater than 0. And then we're going to get negative 60k, whoops, negative 60 times k just moving the constant out in front of the k, um, plus ln 178. OK, so now I need to solve for k here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the ln 178 from both sides. So we have here ln of 28 minus ln 178 equals negative 60 times k. So now, at this point, you could just plug it into your calculator, or you could use the properties of logarithms to be able to simplify this into one log. So this is equal to uh, ln of 28 divided by 178. And this is equal to negative 60k. And at this point, unless you're really good at computing difficult logarithms in your head, you need to use a calculator. So if you use your calculator, you end up finding that k is equal to, write it up here, k is approximately equal to 0 0.03. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we have C and we have K. So now we're going to solve for T sub heart so we can identify which of the potential suitors left the cookies for Valentine on her porch. Okay. So now we're going to set the equation up again. So we're going to have ln. And I might note that this entire time you could have exponentiated both sides, so taken e to the ln. In fact, I'll do that right now um, to simplify things a little bit. So we had ln of t minus a equals negative kt plus c. So I'm just going to exponentiate both sides. So I'm going to take e to the and e to the all of this. So e to the ln of the absolute value of t minus a is going to be t minus a. And we know we can remove the absolute values, absolute value bars here because the ambient temperature 72 is always less than the temperature of the cookies that we're measuring. And we know that this is equal to e to the negative kt. And then by the properties of exponents here, we can just say that this is equal to e to the negative kt times e to the c. Uh, so I'll move e to the c to the front. Actually, yeah, okay, I'll do two steps here. We're going to move the A over to the other side, and I'm going to move the E to the C over to the front. So we have E to the C 
times e to the negative kt plus a. Okay, great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in values for c and k to simplify this here. So we have t equals e to the c, which is ln 178. And this is all times e to the negative 0.03t plus 72. Okay, so e to the ln 178 is going to cancel out to be 178. So we end up getting here t is equal to 178 times e to the negative 0.03t plus r a, which is 72. Okay, so now the remainder of this problem should be pretty straightforward. We're just going to plug in these values here to solve for t sub part. So we're going to get here. Big T is equal to 300 equals 178 um, times e to the negative 0 0.03 um, times T sub heart plus 72. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, um, in fact, it, it might just be easier to, so, okay, so 300, we subtract 72 from both sides. So we have um, 128, oops, right, 128, right, okay. 128 is going to be, oh, excuse me, 228 is going to be equal to uh, 178, times e to the negative 0 0.03 t sub heart. And then we divide both sides by 178. So we have 228 divided by 178 equals e to the negative 0 0.03 t sub heart. We take the natural log of both sides. So ln of 228 over 178 is going to be equal to the ln of e is, they will cancel out. So you end up getting here negative 0 0.03 times t sub part. And to solve finally for t sub part, we just divide both sides by negative 0 0.03. Uh, in which case, again, unless you're really great at computing these logs in your head, um, you have to use your calculator here. And once you do so, you find that t sub part, t sub part, okay, is going to be equal to approximately negative 17.4. And this is measured in minutes. Okay. So now we have a pretty good idea of who probably left the cookies. Because we know that um, t equals zero was when Valentine discovered the cookies on her porch. So we can say that the cookies probably left the oven or left the person's house approximately maybe between, yeah, so 15 to 17, 18 minutes um, before she discovered them. So it seems pretty likely that Albert was the one who left her these cookies. I'll just draw a little thing here. <laughs> okay. So for more math videos, you can subscribe to us here by clicking on this link. And for more information about us, you can click on this link to take you to centerofmath.org. Happy Valentine's Day again from all of us here at this Worldwide Center of Mathematics.